the Alps, a 1,200 kilometers long mountain range that runs through eight countries and is home to some of Europe's highest peaks, largest glaciers and deepest snow. These majestic mountains were only formed 30 million years ago, making the Alps one of the youngest mountain ranges on the planet. But how did the Alps come to be? For decades, geologists have been examining the structure and fossils in the Alps to try to explain how they were formed. In this video, we want to explain how and why the Alps formed. But to do this, we need to take a journey into the past. It all started 230 million years ago in the Triassic period when the supercontinent Pangaea that was once home to dinosaurs started breaking apart. But how and why did it happen? To understand this, we need to take a closer look at the layers of the Earth. The Earth consists of four layers, each of them with different properties. The solid dense inner core is surrounded by a fluid outer core, both of which are made up of iron and nickel. The mantle, the widest layer, is made up of molten rock, magma. The crust is the thinnest layer of them all. It can get up to 60 kilometers thick and is made of solid rock. Together, the crust and the upper part of the mantle create the lithosphere, in other words, the tectonic plates. Due to radioactive decay in the core, the rock in the mantle is heated and expands. The rock rises and becomes more dense, causing it to cool and harden and therefore sink back down. These cycles are referred to as convection currents and are the reason why the tectonic plates move. Some magma is pressed up, creating new ocean floors and therefore a mid-ocean ridge. Because new ocean floors are being made, the plates are forced to move apart, creating divergent boundaries. 160 million years ago, Eurafrica broke up into Europe and Africa. When the plates diverged, ocean water from the Tethys Ocean ran between the two continents, creating the Penninic Ocean. During the Jurassic and Triassic period, mud and rock sank to the bottom of the ocean and hardened, creating layers and layers of limestone and sea sediments. Then, 130 million years ago, the plate movement changed direction and Africa and Europe started moving towards each other and eventually the two continents collided, causing the subduction of the Penninic crust underneath the African plate. Because great forces were moving the plates towards each other, the ocean water and its sediments at the ocean floor were forced to move somewhere. Internal forces caused the stone layers to rise and fold, creating small islands on the ocean surface. The continuous force forced the limestone and sediments to continue folding, creating larger and larger mountains. At the same time, erosion removed rock sheets on the surface of the soon-to-become Alps. Now they consist mostly of granite and limestone and are split up into the pre-Alps, Central Alps and Southern Alps along with Po Valley and the Swiss Plateau. Today, the Alps are hardly growing anymore. In fact, wind and melting snow are carrying more and more of the Alps' surface away, causing them to shrink ever so slightly. The end. The end.